Psycho, probably wondering, what are we going to do today? While I'm challenged at the moment, I got told, can you make a 14-inch beadlock rim? Well, everyone sells 15, so I thought, well, why not? Let's just make a 14-inch. So what do we need? First of all, we're going to need a rim. We need a 14-inch rim. I've already put this up on the lathe and machined the outer lip off it. But also, what we're going to need is a bit of 16mm alley. I've already locked the corners off, 16mm wide, that's for the inner piece. And then we also need a bit of shit, a bit of 8mm and we're going to make the outer piece from it. So I'm going to show you step by step on what we're going to do. So step one, we've got our nice big thick slab of 16mm aluminium. What I've done, I've already drilled and tapped two holes so I can locate my jig. And then from there, I'll go around and I'll mark all the holes I need so I can drill into it. Oh, back here at the shed, I've just put two bolts in this plate of aluminium, which bolts to my jig. I'll just flip it over. As you can see, there's my jig. So, the jig that I've got the holes to suit 15 inch rims, and then I've got the inner ones to suit 14 inch. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go around and center pop all the holes. Now that I've got it in the lathe, I've got my jig. It's all held in by the chuck. That's my jig. That's the plate. Now I'm going to get the lathe tool and start carving out the bit for the end. So here we are. We're carving the center out of the inner piece for the beadlock. So this will be a big round disc that comes out. So there you go, now we've just got this outer piece here, the inner piece is now gone. You can see we've got a nice big step there. So now we're going to start doing the profile on the outside. Now with a beadlock, we have a lip, like, there's your beadlock, there's your bolt holes, but if you look at it side on, we've got a step here, and this is where the tyre goes. So what I'm about to do now is put that step in this plate. <laughs> Get a good feeling, yeah. I get a feeling that I never, 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 never had before. No, no, I get a good feeling, yeah. Oh, sometimes I get a good feeling, yeah. I get a feeling that so now we're making the outer cover to go on the inner for the beadlock. So I've just cut the center out, done the relief. Now I'm just about to do the outside because what we want to try and do is get it to look like this. So what we want to try and do is we're just going to make a duplicate of this. So I'll draw the holes, this is the little reset. So from the billet we're going to try and get one like this. So now we've got the inner piece here, we've gone round, we've centre popped all the holes, so now we're going to go and drill and tap them out. So now we've got our 14 inch rim, it's all been, the rim's all been machined, ready for the lock. We've got our inner all made. I've just marked between here so we can make sure the valve stem goes in the middle. So when we've got the outer on, you can still reach the valve cap. So now we just got to centralise. Now we just got to centralise the rim and start welding. So we go around the rim now and we just make sure that it is even all the way around and then we can start to weld. So now we just weld the inner piece onto the outer piece, and away we go. So now I'll just continue welding around. So there we have it, we've got the inner piece all welded to the rim. And there's the outer piece, it's ready to go. So all you do is you put your tyre on, you put your clamp plate on, and the tyre fits in that little groove there. So, all done. One, two, sometimes I get a good feeling, yeah. I get a feeling that I never, 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 never had before. No, no, I get a good feeling.